Hi guys, check it out. I am in the countryside. I can smell the green fields and the fresh air and hear the birds singing. Okay, you're right. I am not in the countryside, but I am using a cool background picture so you can imagine what our setting would look like before I read the story of the day. Now remember, good readers always imagine or draw on what they already know as well as ask questions to understand the story better. Before I begin, can anyone tell me what this person is called? If you said a bullfighter or a matador, then you are correct. A matador is a bullfighter from Spain or Portugal or other Hispanic American countries. And their job is to entertain people by fighting bulls in a big arena called a bullfighting ring. A bullfighter or a matador excites and angers a bull by flashing a red cape in its face and then fights the bull with a sword. Now in today's story, five men misinterpret. Now that's a big word. Can you say it with me? Misinterpret. Right. That means they misunderstood or they got the wrong idea. They misinterpreted the actions of a bull and they selected him to take part in the bullfights of Madrid. As I read the story, I want you to think about the characters and the problems that the character faces in the story. Lastly, I want you to brainstorm all the things that these five men should have done differently in order to avoid making the same mistake. Now I want you to write it down and post it on Class Dojo. Then we'll share it with everyone. Today's story is called The Story of Ferdinand by Monroe Lee. Now, some of you might have seen the movie, but it's always good to compare the movie and the book. This is one of my all-time favorites. I hope you enjoy it. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull, and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together but not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. Hmm. Their hats do look funny. All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping, so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care. 
so he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Oh no! Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would probably sting him. And that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Wow, did it hurt! Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting and butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all, just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying and bands were playing and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the banderilleros with long sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Next came the picadores who rode skinny horses and had long spears to stick in the bull and make him madder. Then came the matador proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull and you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand. They called him Ferdinand the Fierce and all the banderilleros were afraid of him, and the picadores were afraid of him, and the matador was scared stiff. Ooh. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring, and everyone shouted and clapped, because they thought he was going to fight fiercely, and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the lovely lady's hair, and he just sat down quietly and smiled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled, and the banderilleros were mad, and the picadores were madder, and the matador was so mad, he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. So they had to take Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy. The end. Now, wasn't that a sweet story? Now, before I go, I want you to remember to answer the three questions. You can write it down or you can type it out on Class Dojo. The first question, why do you think Ferdinand was chosen to fight? Who were the main characters and what were some of the challenges the characters faced in the story? And the last one, I want you to list some of the things that the men should have done differently to avoid making the same mistake. So think about it this way. Suppose the five men came to you and said, we made a terrible mistake. We chose the wrong bull and we're afraid we might do the same thing again and lose our jobs. Please help us. What should we do so we will not make the same mistake? Don't forget, after you've watched this video and you can repeat it as many times as you want, you can take the test between 7.30 in the morning till 2.30 in the afternoon it is a 3.7 book level, but even if this is not on your reading level, because Miss Kathy read it to you guys, you guys are allowed to take it. See you next time. Bye.